Rest assured, they sleep hard no longer. We deliver the hits to get the kids with us. Hello, folks. This is Bob with RealTVFilms.com. We're here at the South by Southwest Film Festival, covering a, a full week of uh, films that are being played here. We've got two people here that I'd love to uh, learn about. We've got MC Frontalot. Hello. Yay. And we've got Nagin Farsad. And they are part of the movie Nerd Core Rising. So, okay, the first thing is you're the director. Tell me a little about the movie. Okay, Nerdcore Rising is a documentary about nerdcore hip-hop. It follows the godfather of genre, MC Frontalot, on his first national tour. Um, and basically, it's a lot like um, Battlestar Galactica meets 8 Mile. Anything to add to that? Nothing. <laughs> ever. I can do this at the cost of everything. As long as there are nerds, there will be nerdcore. So, how did you get a hold of this movie? How did you become the director? Um, well, Dame, um, MC Funnelot and I have a, a, a common friend, and I heard about him, I went to one of his shows, I met a bunch of his like super nerdy, super dedicated fans, who would literally like have arguments about who was a bigger you know, Dungeons and Dragons dork at his shows, and I felt like it was a beautiful nerd haven, and, uh, and to me it was just like, you know, it was the apotheosis of the tech revolution that's taken over the globe, and I felt like it really needed to be examined. Now, how did you become a part of this whole thing? And, and uh, tell us about your role in the film. Um, I guess I'm sort of the center of the film. I'd be more comfortable thinking of the film as being more about the, the fan base instead of about me, because then, otherwise, when I watch the movie, I, I have to worry about me, I'd much rather would worry about the fan base and like how they're all so sweet and friendly and smiling and talking about their you know world of Warcraft addiction and whatnot. Their core is a sign of the times. It, it couldn't have existed ten years ago. There always has been a smart side of hip hop. Now kids, we're heading towards the first gig on the Nerdcore Rising tour of MC Frontalot. Oh man, I tried to dodge fans with the heat swarming. Frontalot's hard too, let's have a house swarming. I love you so damn much, I sell your CDs. I'm greedy to get loved back like I leave sheep in one MC Frontalot is the nerd chorus of the core. MC Frontalot is the grandfather of nerdcore hip hop. MC Frontalot rocks. I think if there were no internet, there'd be no MC Frontalot. Frontalot raps about all the things I care about, like Magic the Gathering and internet porn addiction. Holy shit! It's MC Frontalot! MC Frontalot, the arch criminal for some reason I saw it by authority. The bomb been running wild for days. So I've got a couple of goals good, for good the luck, tour. One of them is to get Gobby hard drinking. Yep. Brandon, we're going to bump up the heroin. And Sturgis, we're going to keep chock full of breakfast bars. Uh, how long did it take this film to be made? Uh, when did you first learn about it, and how long did it get to this point? Um, I mean, I, I learned about it about two and a half years ago. I heard about Nerdcore, and like, you know, eight, six or eight months later, we were shooting um, MC Frontalot on tour. And it took about, all told, two and a half years of lots of work and constant, constant work. <laughs> On the same page as X Men, and you're even bigger than X Men. Listen, I tell you, the front a lot is incredible. Even recommended to rock the mic like instead of a silent. Well, how would you describe nerdcore hip hop? Well, it's kind of like regular hip hop, except with the word nerdcore in front of it. Nerdcore hip hop is a soundtrack to my life. That's sort of like the Bill Gates on fucking hip hop, you know? It's ostensibly the ironic juxtaposition of two very disparate cultures. Now. South by Southwest. How did, did you decide this? Was this a conscious choice? Uh, I mean, you know, you can never say that South by Southwest is a conscious choice because it's so so competitive and so selective. But I always wanted to premiere here. It was like my dream to premiere here because, you know, it's a it's a it's a music festival, it's a film festival, and it's an interactive technology festival. So it was just kind of a perfect synergy um, for this film. It was a perfect place for Nerdcore Rising to premiere. Right now, are you going to be doing any anything here while you're in the this week? We've got the uh, movie premiere on Sunday night, the 9th, 
right after that, I'm doing a show at Latitude 30. And then after the set, Prince Paul is going to spin records. It's going to be neat. Hip hop grew up to be the essence of cool. This nerdcore prides itself on not being that. Nerdcore! If you're honest and, and reflect your real life, that's hip hop. I bet rappers wouldn't think much of nerdcore. They won't take it seriously until somebody breaks through. It's actually going back to originally what I think hip hop is all about, and that's really to be yourself and talk about what you're into. To me, that's true hip hop. I think ner nerdcore is actually a little bit racist. I think it's a valid genre. Be careful with your own stereotype. It could become a prison. <laughs> Fine, so how does a person get invited to that? You, you just show up and we let you in. No, 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 you find a golden ticket in a bar of chocolate. <laughs> we, we, we embrace everyone because we are a nerd movie. So like, you know, you show up and you get it. <laughs> right, unless you're dressed too cool, in which case you turned away at the door. Now, can they find out anything online? Is there any website they can go to? I'm so glad you asked that. I'm so glad I asked it too. <laughs> it's uh, www.nerdcorerising.com. And here's what else. You can actually go on the website and request a screening of the film in your area and we will like, if there are enough of you in that zip code, we will bring the film there. Really? Yeah. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Nerd Core is rising. Look, I'm having no more of this. What? No, I'm having no more of this. Oh, you're not here. No, I'm telling you, I'm having no more of this. The rest is for you. No, I couldn't eat another bite. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us, you guys. Sounds thank like you. a terrific film. Best of luck to you, and congratulations for getting here. Nerd Coke, rise up. It could get elevated. Nerd Coke, rise up. It could get elevated Nerdcore used to be just a made up word MCs shied away from belief Rest assured they sleep hard No longer we deliver the hits To give the kids with the spectacle spectacular fits I seen one nerd foam up the mouth in his glee He was me in the mirror rhyming brushing my teeth And now the he's and we's off Don't babble 300 bar I get no error while compiling my rhyme The slip shard rap stylings of the hip kids Continue to vex to get sex Money power but the jams are like flex of sea foam Against the great reef of my boredom I seen them trying to act cool Ignored them scored some Geeked out beats and the mic, some jugglers I kick it with Don't even know why rap is alright Cause soon the whole nerd core will congregate In culmination of the monkey going off caught date Nerd core could rise up, it could get elevated Oh, and wouldn't all of those tough rappers hate it If the nerd core rose up and got elevated We consider the possibleness of this not overstated we put a sound in the blender And the tape on the spectacles We compile the assembler We'd each make a respectable legal spangler Your despicable heckling snide remarks Make it all the more delectable to market Jekyll and Hyde departure from the larger norm or previous status quo The clever dicks like us apply the baddest flow to limericks And that is no mere rhetoric We don't just wreck shop We mop the shop floor With rappers who romanticize the third album We've got four each And we exceed your reach We're worldwide web slingers With the combined military might of the girl guys Dead fingers with his own gun But maybe Jonathan Edwin Warren From season 6 of a DVM With geniuses and with deviants We're seen as special the BBS, where we write graphic nasty files with nasty styles of blink and blood. Who made your father blink and blood? The fun a lot owns you. It's Stephen Hawking, rock sword. Without even talking, so that he gaps the dog all in the soft drawer. Our style's got the top score spot, yours is not. Sorry, stick to the shockwave games, looking shots at the top 40. I made my own doom wads, see that quad, my own sprites of use files, I stayed home nights. Nerdcore, Karaza, it could get elevated. Oh, and wouldn't all of those tough rappers hate it? If the nerd core rose up and got elevated We consider the possibleness of this not overstated Nerd, when you say it, you best say it with awe Cause I'm the type of nerd that will bust your jaw A nerd core player, I've paid my dues Got lowered suspension and chromed out shoes Hear ye, hear ye, in case you ain't heard 20 ought five be the year of the nerd Nerd core gonna be crazy large and the NIC bitch The nerd's in charge, we bust more rhymes than Theodore Giesel did Got more game than a 2600 for punk MCs who 